really excited and looking forward to the idea of my work being positioned at the end of the pier. It was never designed to be in this place, but the place itself and how that place works in terms of how it works historically with it being the site where where boats came and people uh, were were moved and, and people went all over the world and started new lives and and were involved in in a whole kind of shifting and change of kind of, of ideas of home or ideas of place and space. With this door here being almost like a sign of incoming, outgoing, a metaphor, if you like, for where it is, for actually like how it's situated on the end of the pier. And I suppose what, what happens is that what we get really is this almost like syntax, this idea of the door and what the door might mean and how the door itself might function as a, as a threshold from one place to another. When we travel through a door, we, we go through perceptive barriers, we go through to the other side. It's a space that stimulates or suggests the space of imagination. Personally, I think what it has the effect of, of making everybody feel childlike. I think what it does is it has, because it, it shrinks us down, it makes the world suddenly um, seem much larger. It has the effect of making us remember being smaller. And so I think in that sense, the large door actually changes our perspective um, on our surroundings. I, I hope that they can stimulate people's cultural thinking, can stimulate people's ideas about who they are.